On the market of religious goodies today, the most vocal salesmen are often the ones selling macho gods, gods of warfare, force, supremacism, racism, nationalism, and submission. Those gods resemble pseudo-gods of distant galaxies of the Star Trek and Star Wars movies, or the ancient mythological gods of Greece, always eager to conquer, crush, subdue, or assimilate. Caught up in the aggressive appeal of bullying deities, one has no other choice but to follow them driven by fear. You never know where you stand with them. Will they assimilate or trash you or barbecue forever and ever, or eventually maybe save you? Deep down in your heart, you know that you can never trust or love them. At the end of the day, they might just as well be demons in disguise. How would you know? Their roughness and unpredictability can hardly be reassuring. I love the account of a vulnerable God who came down to us in Jesus. And to the best of my knowledge, there is and there has been only one of the kind ever offered to human race. Those who know him say that we humans matter to him so much that he risked everything, his own kingdom, his reign, even his own life by merging his fate with ours and all of it to draw us somehow back to his embrace. He acted like a true lover, wanting to demonstrate his love for his estranged wife, as if he was saying, I would rather die than be without you. I wonder why is a vulnerable God so offensive to many? while macho gods have a large following. What is wrong with us that we find bullying gods more attractive than the one who comes to us with an embrace of a true lover? One of the New Testament statements declares, and these words are written by Apostle Paul in the book of Romans chapter 8, verses 31 and 32, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? The late Irish TV comedian Dave Allen would finish each of his shows with a farewell, May your God go with you. As for me, I will only trust and follow the vulnerable God in this life, and in the life to come.